I'm Wiggles. I'm Jan, and um, we're doing themes now for per episode, and this theme is going to be after Anime Expo. It's happening this week. You'll watch the video next week. So yeah, this is for Anime Expo, special episode. Yeah, and with that being said, we're going to be having some, you know, like anime type items, so we're going to kind of stick with that category. So we're going to have two Funkos. One is going to be Goku on the Flying Nimbus Cloud, and the other is going to be Sailor Moon with Luna, and the other one is going to be a very special and rare item. Yeah. Some of you might not know what it is. Some of you may know, but it's going to be the Candy Candy Anime DVD box set. Now let's get to the unboxing. Sorry, This right here is the Candy Candy D Anime DVD box set. A little backstory on this um, anime series was that it started in, it was written in 1975 by an author named Keiko Nagita, also under the pen name of Kyoki, Kyoko Mizuki. Um, it was then later picked up by an illustrator, which then got published into a magazine, which later became an animation series that um, around 1977. Um, this is about a little girl named Candace. She actually is an orphan, and it's a coming of age story. We follow her from infancy all the way up until her late 30s. And the way it ends is left for imagination. So we kind of don't know what really happens. And the author said that she did this on purpose because she wanted us to use our imagination and to kind of figure out what um, Candace or Candy would do on, on our own because she said that it, she kind of felt like if she told everyone what it was, it would rob, rob them of the story and like the love and the journey, whatever, of this uh, anime series. Um, this actually won the first Kodansha uh, Kodansha, I think that's how you pronounce it, Manga Awards with, in 1977 uh, in the shoujo genre, oh, excuse me, the shoujo genre. Um, I feel like this anime paved a lot of um, future animations and mangas. Uh, it <laughs> has a lot of history to me. Um, this was my mom's favorite anime series and she introduced this to me at a very young age when I was about seven years old. So I actually fell in love with this pretty quickly. My mom purchased the VCR set in Korea when she went to go visit, but she was only able to get up to like episode 19 or 23. So I never knew what happened in the whole series up until just recently. So, um, so yeah, so it has a lot of history. And the reason why I, it took me so long to finish this series is that this anime has so many political uh, conflict going on with the writer, the illustrator, and the animators. They're all wanting the licensing of it. So because they're in this huge lawsuit and battle, they actually stopped any kind of like product um, development. So like any kind of DVDs or uh, movies or any kind of anything related to Candy Candy, they actually stop. So all these things that you might see in on the internet, especially eBay, they're black market, meaning that they're fake, they were recorded through the VCR, um, the sound quality is super low, and so it's actually really, really, really rare to find. And the set that I got was released by the, um, the, the country Korea, and they actually don't make this anymore, so this item is actually pretty much extinct. Um, my aunt was able to get one of these. It's a two box, or excuse me, a two DVD set in one box. Um, it's supposed to, it also has the Japanese and Korean uh, versions of the, the language, 
which is also very rare to find as well because most of them is in Spanish. So to actually get the original Japanese and the sub and then also the Korean sub what is it? Subtitles? Not subtitles, Korean dub. The Korean dub is very rare to find. Um, I was gifted this gifted this from my mom who she actually got from my aunt. So it's like really special to me and I'm really excited to have this. And yeah, I'm hoping that I could pass this on to my kids and that they will fall in love with this anime as well. This is gonna be the Sailor Moon and Luna Funko Pop. This is gonna be paint on acrylic and they're gonna be approximately, I'd say three, three, four inches tall. Maybe five, I'm not too sure. <laughs> but this is gonna be a part of a set. I think it's gonna be a set of eight. On the box it says like there's seven, but I think there is one that wasn't uh, displayed and I think that might be an exclusive. I'm not too sure. But this is gonna be the one with Luna. And you know, it's just a, it's pretty nice like vinyl uh, pop toy. You know, everybody knows Funko. They do a lot of uh, pop culture uh, from animation, from games, movies, shows, everything. And they're widely popular now. And this one is no different. They chose to do a Sailor Moon collaboration and it popped off and there it is. All right, this is a, um, Dragon Ball Z Funko. I remember when we first started collecting them, like me, Hunter, Wiggles, all of us, like there was probably like seven or 10 of them. Now there's like a million of them. This is, I, I remember, if I remember properly, this was the second Goku ever made. Like the first design was just him. And then when they went to the second series, they had him on the Nimbus. Um, it's really cool. I remember when I was younger, like how much I liked Dragon Ball Z. Like me and my cousins, after school, we would run to our house and we would watch Dragon Ball Z on Telemundo. Like, we didn't understand it. It was in Spanish. We were like, yeah, call me on me And all that cool stuff. So, I mean, a lot of memories. I think it's a really dope uh, Funko. I'm glad, you know, Wiggle said it. Like, um, I'm glad that Pop and Funko did a lot of collaborations with all these anime animations. I remember, like, it was Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon. Now they have everything. They got Sword Art. They got all these anime. Anything you could think of, they got a Funko version. So, this is a really cool toy. You already know what time it is. <laughs> it's that time we pick the hottest item of the week. My pick. I haven't watched this anime yet, so I don't know much about this anime, but I learned a lot today from Grace. I, I think I think Candy Candy, just because it's super rare and you can't find it, and like the quality you find online is kind of bad. Like she, you said, the volume is really low. But I think the hottest item this week has to be this Candy Candy DVD box set. Yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, like... Like the segment goes, it's the hottest item, and this thing is like super hot. <laughs> like it's on fire. Yeah, like Grace was telling us that it's like pretty much black market stuff. Like yeah. y you can't find this thing anywhere, and there's so much drama going with like the illustrator and the artist and the animation company want, and all this yeah. stuff. They want rights for this as well. Yeah, <laughs> they, can't. they want stacks and stacks. Yeah, pretty much. So my pick is probably got to go for the candy candy as well. Yeah. And obviously, I have to go with Candy Candy. <laughs> Korea! <laughs> you know, so, yeah. It's just so many memories and just so much history, so. Do you remember how old you were when you watched that? I oh. was, I think, seven. Seven. I and seven now she's uh, right now she's 75, so that's a long <laughs> ass time. Uh, super long. 75 year old right here. But I think if... If it wasn't for Candy Candy, I'd probably go with Dragon Ball. Yeah, that'd be yeah. my sec or my first pick. Yeah, cause that's it's, it's, super it's, hard. It's, it's, it's Dragon, Dragon Ball. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Cause I mean, I freaking have Goku on flying Nimbus tattooed on me. Yeah, so you should have, so. maybe we'll get a B-roll of that later. So yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for the Candy ca Candy anime, I would definitely do Goku. You don't like Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon's cool. Okay, I, like I have a funny story with Sailor Moon. Okay. When I was a little girl, my sister and I, it was after school, we were like running home, we are like ah, panting, and we got home, we are like, yes, Sailor Moon, just in time. We turn it on, and my cousin comes in, and I don't know, I think it was like Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles, or some kind of other 
uh, cartoon was on at the same time. And he literally grabbed the remote and switched it. And oh. I looked up at him. And we were like, what? And we literally fist fought over the remote. <laughs> and his mom came in, like, literally snatched us by our hairs and, like, dragged us into the restroom and, like, beat the shit out of us. Damn. Yeah. They were fighting to watch cartoons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fighting over Sailor Moon. That's the love have, right there. You should get Sailor Moon on your other thigh. That'd be tight. You have Battle? Yeah. Damn. Oh. I bled for the show. <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, that's going to be all the items that we have here, guys. I'm going to give you guys one more look at all of them. Here you go. Thank you all for watching this episode of The Hot in Box. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Shout outs, big, big shout outs to Grace's aunt for you know giving her mom this DVD set. Because if that didn't happen, this rare piece would not be here tonight. True. Yeah. Y'all know what to do. Flood the flood, comment the comments. Let us know which item you thought was the hottest and not the naughtiest. <laughs> I don't know, that child yeah. can't learn. Yeah. But um, let us know what you would like to see us talk about. Like, you know, talk to us. Let us know what's up. And we'll make sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Happy 4th of July. Oh, yeah, Be yeah. safe, please. Yes, yeah. yes. Uber. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't party too hardy. <laughs> and make sure your dogs are inside, please. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Jalan, we'll see you next week, maybe. Unless yeah. you make plans again, bro. <laughs> Double book plans <laughs> Double <laughs> book, my plan. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. It was um, uh, presented to these. He's doing all that flood the flood comment. <laughs> Let comment us know. Flood.